Don't launch your Google Shopping campaign without these settings. Okay, I have my campaign built. It's in the account. I'm going to hop into the campaign by just clicking into it. A few things I wanna set up. One, top sellers. I need to actually segment this out by top sellers. So right now it just says all products. So this is firing my entire feed. I need to actually subdivide this. So I'm gonna hit this plus sign. And then I actually have a custom label here for this called top performer. Now this is a feed attribute that we set up. For you, if you don't have that yet, don't worry. Again, I have a full like feed optimization masterclass video on our YouTube channel that will be in the description below. But for now, for you, you can go by individual item IDs, which would be your actual SKUs. Now, one other change, you want to go to insights and report, you want to go when and where ads showed, and then you want to go to devices. Here, we want to take out tablets. Tablets is the least volume, least converting, even for well-established, optimized shopping campaigns. I like to take it out as a variable in the beginning. I'm trying to just get success, right? Take tablets out. So we're gonna hit decrease by 100%. If you know your mobile experience is really bad, you might want to come in here and immediately adjust this down by anywhere from 25 to 50%. If not, leave it as a baseline, and then you can adjust this later once you get data. We have generated over $50 million in revenue for our clients using Performance Max campaigns. We decided we're gonna download our knowledge of Performance Max campaigns into a free, easy, practical course and just give it away to the community. Comment PMAX below and I'll send you the free PMAX course directly to your DMs. Go grab this free course and I'll see you inside.